In this lesson, we're going to finalize our render in Photoshop. Okay, so here I am in Photoshop, and we're actually going to bring in our rim light now. Okay, and this will also need a color correction. And from here, we can actually erase everything on the inside, and this will bring back our details. We can actually erase everything that we don't want to keep and bring back a bit of the yellow if you like. I'm actually going to do this from out here. This also gives the label a little bit of depth to it. A little bit of shadows on the outside. Okay, great. So we're actually getting some uh, yellow up here in the beauty pass that I'm actually not going to try and keep. I'm going to erase those. Okay. So now we can go ahead and start adding in some of the background that this is going to be on. So we know we're going to have a black background. Okay. We also know we want some of that red cloud to it. So what I'll do here is I'm actually going to go ahead and choose that red that I want. And from here, I'm going to add another layer, turn off the red, and we're going to make this gray. We'll fill this in, and we're actually going to render a cloud layer onto this. All right, and we'll stretch this out so we get more of a vertical look to it. All right, and we're actually going to erase everything on top, or on bottom here, sorry. Okay, so when I turn on the white, with the black underneath it, I should be able to erase some of this. Actually adjust the modes here so that we get the effect that we're looking for. Just playing with our color dodges here. I think I like this one. So we can actually move this down into the shot. Uh, bring the red down if we want to fix that up a little bit. And actually, I think the color is off a little bit. We're a little bit too saturated on this one. Bring this down and lower its darkness. Okay. I would also like to take all these layers here and bring them into the new layer, collapse them, and flip this vertically. This allows us to give a bit of a reflection here underneath the bottle. All right. We'll just blur that out. Gaussian blur. Okay, we can move it up a little bit more. T to bring that down, just so it's a little bit subtle. Okay, so I also want to take these guys here, and I'm going to duplicate them, and I'm going to then I'll merge those layers. And I'm just going to turn off all the other ones that we just duplicated and leave that new one. And the reason why is more of a backup because I'm actually going to bring in our Z depth for this right now. And when I use a Z depth, I end up collapsing the layers that I have. Oh, I accidentally took the wrong layer here. We have to give ourselves some more room. Okay. So this is a reflection. We'll put this down to the bottom. Delete those. What we got here. Okay, so these layers here need to be duplicated. These ones should be merged. And then we'll just turn off these layers here. If you want, you can go ahead and label these. So this is our bottle dry, our ice. Our beauty pass and the rim. Okay, and this is going to be composite. All right, and from here we'll just uh, bring in our Z depth. So we'll 
we'll place this in. All right, from here we'll hit Control A to select everything, and we'll hit Control C to copy. We're gonna go over into our channels layer and create a new layer. You'll see Alpha One's created, and if you hit Control V, you'll see that it's pasted, but sometimes it's not pasted absolutely correctly. Uh, in this case, it looks like it's pretty close, but I'm just gonna undo that and hit Control Shift V. And that will guarantee that it's been pasted in the exact position as our composite. All right, we can deselect that and go back into our layers. And we're not going to need our Z depth out here anymore. We just want to get it into our layers here. Okay, so now we go to Filter, Blur, Lens Blur. They see that it's using Alpha 1. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit so that you can see it. Okay, bring this over. Okay, so I, I actually did a practice run through here, so my settings are actually close, but I'll show you the process and what I do. So what I do, let's say this was at zero, I increase my radius all the way up, so what's going to be blurry, it gets really blown out, what's focused will stay sharp. This way the, the range is really small. So you can see what's happening here, up here is getting really blurry, down here is getting even blurrier. So it looks like the focus is uh, backwards, it's um, towards us. So if I went to the over maybe around 100. So you get the, our focus is actually really far away from our object right now. So we need to find that area where the labels in focus and then the bot, the top of the bottle and the cap are a little bit blurry. So I know that about 45 works best. Give this a second. Actually, maybe it was 46. Give that a second to render through. 3 right now we're getting our cap in focus. I actually want the Budweiser label in focus. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video here for a second until I find the right number. Okay, so I actually am quite happy with uh, 40. I get the top of the label here getting a little bit blurry because it's getting away from the camera. But right down here on the Budweiser is pretty much in focus. And so is the cap. So I get a happy medium between the two. So from here, what I'll do is I take the radius and I lower this down until we get something kind of subtle. I still want to see the top get blurred a little bit, but I don't want it to be out of focus too much. So we'll just bring this down to about 30 and hit OK. So it's a subtle effect but it adds that extra umph of realism. So we can turn our background back on. Okay and from here we choose our text tool. Make it typed in Budweiser. And underneath we can put the King of Beers. Okay, so now we just need to change the font of Budweiser. And the font that I used in my render was uh, Baroque Script. Okay, and it looks like our capitals are all turned on here, so we'll just turn those off. We'll have to rewrite the last section here. Okay, and this font is going to be white. Uh, the King of Beers will actually be white as well. But it's also going to have a stroke on it. So we'll go Layer, Layer Style, Stroke. And we'll give this a stroke of the color of our background. And we may have to lower this down a little bit. Okay, so now we just need to align the font up so that it fits the screen. We'll just scale this down. So it lines up. Okay, now with the two selected, we can scale them both up together. Set it over here. You can kind of just play around with this till you find the spot that you like most. All right, we're also going to add a vignette to the scene. So we'll grab the ellipse marquee tool. Start from the top here, right down to the other corner. All right, we're going to invert our selection, pressing Control Shift I. 
paint the background. I'm going to deselect that by pressing Control D. We're going to blur that out. All right, hit OK, and then we can lower the opacity till we bring our image back in. This just adds a little bit of extra depth to our scene. All right, and at any point, feel free just to move your composite over if you want. And actually, we're going to want the reflection too. We'll just bring that over and. Uh, in my render, I believe I signed my name over here. And uh, we'll also add one more layer just to make sure that we get this the exact way that we want. So we're going to add a new... Actually, we'll just do it to the um, composite layer. We'll just add uh, image adjustments curves. We'll just play around with the lighting on this a little bit. Bring out our whites a little bit, bring our shadows back in. Maybe give this a little bit more of a red color to match the background, or we can remove it to make it colder. You know, add some in, maybe green, pull out. Okay, image adjustments just to make sure our contrast looks good. Bring this up. Let's see here, right here, and you might want to take some saturation out of this as well. So we'll up that and just pull the. Bring my panel over there. What I like to do with this is not really look at where um, the dial is and just play around with the hue and saturation and then watch my image and then find out where I stop and take a look. It looks like I went minus 18 and I'm actually happy with it here. So hit OK. OK, so that's our final render of the Budweiser, the King of Beers. Let's save this out. It's a PNG. Hit OK.